Despite the fact that there is still quite a long time before the official announcement of the iPhone 14 lineup, the network already has information about what users should expect. And now I will tell you about everything in more detail. Greetings to everyone, my name is Asosnan, and before we start, I suggest that you subscribe to my channel and press the bell. Let's discuss the news. For at least some of the iPhone 14 models, Apple is working to eliminate the notch that houses the hardware needed for Face ID. The notch was a controversial design decision when it was introduced in 2017, and since then it's changed a little with exception of the size tweak with the iPhone 13. Apple analyst Min Chi Kuo said in March 2021 that the 2022 iPhone models would not have a notch and would instead adopt the hole punch style design that's been popular on many Android phones. Since Kuo's prediction, there have been other other rumors that have made the front design of the iPhone 14 Pro models a bit less clear. One leaker has said that rather than a hole punchy design, the camera cutout of the iPhone 14 Pro models will be a pill shaped. Display analyst Ross Young has further clarified and said that he expects to see both a pill shaped cutout and a circular cutout. The circular cutout will likely house the Face ID dot projector, and the pill shaped cutout will include the front camera, Face ID infrared camera, and possibly other components. Apple may also be planning to put some of the Face ID hardware under the iPhone's display, which will cut down on the sizes of the cutouts that are needed and will leave more available screen spaces on the front of the device. Both analysts Ross Yan and Bloomberg's Mark Gurman have said that Apple is working on an under-display Face ID solution, but there is a chance that it will not be ready for use in 2022 devices. Barclays analysts claim that Apple is planning to adopt a laser-based time-of-flight architecture for Face ID. Ideas that would allow for substantial changes to be introduced in a front-facing true depth camera array, and other rumors points to a unibody lens design for reduction in the size of the front camera module. There were early iPhone 14 rumors suggesting that all four iPhone 14 models coming in 2022 could offer promotion display with refresh rate up to 120Hz, but it looks like that's not going to happen. Apple is likely to restrict promotion technology to the iPhone 14 Pro models, a move said display analyst Ross Young attributes to a lack of availability of the necessary displays. Young has made it clear that he believes 120Hz refresh rate will remain on iPhone 14 Pro feature. Korean website The Elec has said that at least one of the iPhone models coming next year will use a standard LTPS OLED display without 120Hz promotion technology, which supports Young's statements. Analyst Jeff Pu has claimed that the feature will come to all iPhone 14 models, but he is not known for his his reliability. The iPhone 14 models are expected to look like iPhone 13 models with the same flat edge design, but in addition to the display changes, there will be updates to a body design. Leaker John Prosser claimed that Apple will introduce a thicker chassis with no rear camera bump. The lenses, LED flash and LiDAR scanner will allegedly be flushed with a rare glass for a non-protruding camera design that hasn't been used since the early days of the iPhone. Along with a flush camera, the iPhone 14 models could feature a round volume buttons that look similar to the buttons from the iPhone 4 and iPhone 5 models, and redesigned speakers and microphone grills with elongated mesh cutouts rather than individual holes at the bottom of the device. Display bezel size is expected to remain the same. There will be no 5.4-inch iPhone in 2022, because Apple is doing away with the mini line following lackluster sales. The iPhone 13 will be the last of the mini phones, and going forward, Apple is expected to focus on a larger-sized iPhone. We are expecting a 6.1-inch iPhone 14, a 6.1-inch iPhone 14 Pro, a 6.7-inch iPhone 14 Max, and a 6.7-inch iPhone 14 Pro Max, with the larger 6.7-inch iPhone replacing the mini model. Apple's upcoming iPhone 14 models are also expected to come with a high-end titanium alloy chassis design, according to an investor's report from GP Morgan Chase. Apple has used titanium for the Apple Watch, but this would mark the first time that material has been used for an iPhone. Titanium is more scratch resistant and it's stronger than both steel and aluminium, plus it's more corrosion resistant. Starting in 2022, high-end iPhone models are likely to adopt a vapor chamber thermal system, which Apple is said to be aggressively testing. The vapor chamber thermal system will be required to high-end iPhone due to their stronger computing powers and faster 5G connection speeds. There are already smartphones from companies like Samsung, Razer and LG that use vapor chamber cooling technology 
switch is used to keep device cooler when it's under heavy stress. It's unclear if the vapor chamber thermal system will meet Apple's high requirements, but Apple is working on improving it and high-end models could adopt it in the near future. There have been rumors that Apple is aiming to remove the lightning port from the iPhone for a portless design with charging done over MagSafe, but it's not clear if that technology will be introduced with the 2022 iPhone models. At least some of the iPhones coming will continue to feature lightning port. All of the 2022 iPhones could use improvement to the ultra-wide camera, and there is a slim possibility that Apple will introduce periscope lens technology that could allow for an optical zoom up to 10x. Other smartphone brands have already adopted periscope lens technology, but Apple has allegedly run into some issues because much of the technology is guarded by patent owned by other companies. Apple could license technology from manufacturer like Samsung or continue to work on its own solution. Unfortunately, it's not looking like periscope lens technology will be ready for release in 2022, but it could instead come in 2023 with iPhone 15 models. Even if periscope lens technology is not ready for 2022 launch, there are still telephoto lens improvements coming. Apple analyst Minchi Kuo says that Apple will upgrade the telephoto camera from 6-element lens to a 7-element lens. Kuo also believes that the 2022 Pro iPhone models will feature 48 megapixels wide camera, which would be a major improvement over the current 12 megapixels camera and 8K video recording capabilities. The 48 megapixel camera in the iPhone 14 Pro models will also be able to take 12 megapixel shots, likely through a process known as pixel binding. Pixel binding merges data from multiple smaller pixels on the camera's image sensor into one super pixel for improved low light sensitivity. With this feature, the iPhone 14 Pro models may be able to take a full 48 megapixels photo in a situation with a good lightning, but when lightning is poor, it will use a pixel binding process for higher quality 12 megapixels photo that takes advantages of the 48 megapixels lens. Kuo believes that the 8K video recording feature will allow iPhone recorded videos displayed on the 8K display or TV provided a better user experience, and that this resolution will allow iPhones to create videos and images more suitable for augmented and mixed reality devices like an AR VR headset that Apple has in development for 2022. Every new iteration of the iPhone comes with upgraded A-series chip, and for the iPhone 14 we are expecting Apple's A16 chip. The next generation A-series chip designed for the iPhone 14 will reportedly to be built on TSMC's NP4 process, which the company says is the third major enhancement of the 5 nanometer family. According to analyst Jeff Poo, iPhone 14 Pro models will introduce 6 gigs of RAM. The iPhone 14 Pro models could get up to 8 gigs of RAM based on the rumors from Chinese supply chain. Even more, Apple is working on a car crash detection feature for the iPhone and Apple Watch, which could come out in 2022. It will use sensors like accelerometers to detect the car accidents when they occur by measuring spikes in gravitational force. When a camera crash is detected, the iPhone or Apple Watch would automatically dial emergency services to get help. Since it's planned for 2022, this could be a feature designed for the iPhone 14 models and the Apple Watch Series 8, though it's not likely to be limited to those devices. It will be an expansion of the fall detection feature that's existing on Apple Watch and iPhone models. The iPhone 14 models will use Qualcomm Snapdragon X65 modem, which is the world's first 10 gigs 5G modem and antenna system for smartphones. Taiwan Economic Daily News has suggested that Apple has ordered 5G radio frequent chips from TSMC, with Apple using its own technology instead of chips from Samsung. The chips are allegedly manufactured on TSMC 6 nanometer process, which offers a smaller package with lower power consumption. The Qualcomm Snapdragon X65 enables some satellite connectivity features, and alongside the modem, Apple plans to implement satellite-based emergency features that will let users to send text in emergency situations and report major emergencies in areas where there is no cellular coverage. Emergency messages via satellites will allow users to text emergency services and contacts using satellite network where there is no cellular or Wi-Fi signal available. It will be a new communicational protocol alongside SMS and iMessage, and it will feature grey message bubbles. Messages length will be restricted. The iPhone 14 is expected to feature Wi-Fi 6E connectivity, according to Apple analyst Min Chi Kuo. Kuo said that Wi-Fi 6E will offer a high-speed wireless transmission necessary for AR and VR experiences, and it also expected to be used in a mixed reality headset that could come out in 2022. With the iPhone 30 Pro models, Apple added a new 1TB storage tier, and the rumors suggest that with the iPhone 14 upgrade, Apple could increase that even
even further to 2 terabytes. However, these rumors come from the source that's not always accurate, so it should be viewed with some skepticism until backed up by another more reliable source. The iPhone 14 models may launch without a physical SIM slot, with the Apple transition to an eSIM only design. Apple is allegedly advising major US carriers to prepare for the launch of eSIM only smartphone by 2022, which suggests some iPhone 14 models may be the first to come without SIM slot. With the iPhone 13, Apple provided some models without a nano SIM in the box, and eSIM allows for cellular plans to be added to a device without using a nano SIM. Apple is expected to introduce the iPhone 14 models at an event that's likely to be held on September 2022, if Apple follows previous launch times. Most iPhone events take place during the first or second week of September. And if we are talking about prices, I think most iPhones will remain with the same price tag. The only question is iPhone 14 Max. So, do you plan to upgrade to the new iPhone 14 this year, and if so, which model do you find the most interesting? Your answers, as always, I propose to leave in the comments under this video. I will definitely read all of your comments, and I will answer the most interesting ones and put hearts from the channel. If the video seems interesting to you, do not forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon. For you all this time, Asosnan has been speaking, and you and I will be heard when we are heard.